what's up yes honey and welcome back to a new video i want to apologize about my recent few uploads i noticed that my camera quality hasn't been the best and i believe it's because my camera is actually like slowly dying on me i've had it for a few years and it's just been having a lot of trouble with focusing recently and it also has a couple dead pixels which you can see if i do nighttime shots so i really apologize for that um i recently sold an lps through instagram which i am going to try and use that money to go to towards getting a new camera so I can improve the quality for you guys. I've also been having a few issues with my editor but I recently updated it to the latest version so hopefully that won't be an issue anymore but um, I just want to say thank you guys for kind of sticking with me while I'm going through these quality issues because I really want to do the best quality videos that I can and it's really annoying that this is happening but I'm going to try and fix it as soon as I can. Now that that little PSA is out of the way, let's get on to today's video which is a pretty big package I bought from eBay. I saw a seller list a bunch of McDonald's pets and for me that holds a lot of nostalgia because I remember going to McDonald's and getting the Happy Meals literally just to get the LP. Yes, I had this little lamb and also this Boston Terrier dog. I don't have either of them anymore. I don't know what I did with them, um, but I miss them so much. And it, they're just like a quintessential point of my childhood. And I remember watching like tutorials on eBay. The eBay, I, I meant YouTube. I'd watch tutorials of people showing you how to cut the LPS off the bases so you could pretend that they were authentic, like regular LPS. And I absolutely love that. I specifically remember getting my dad to cut the lamb off its base but anyway story time over I saw a seller selling a bunch of McDonald's pets but there were also two LPS in the package that I didn't know what they were here's the listing image and you might be able to see them it's a dog and a cat and they're a weird looking plastic but they're not McDonald's pets as far as I know so today we're going to be opening this package up and taking a look at these interesting pets that I got because I personally don't know what they're from. Um, so hopefully you guys can help me out in the comments in identifying them. So here is our box and no I did not just yoink a black box from a airplane crash site. This is how it looks. My address is on the other side so I just have this upside down. But let's open it up and take a look at the pet. So it looks like they've divided them up into two bags. We have the old G2 McDonald's pets. Our little weird hard plastic pets are in this packet as well. And then our second bag looks like it's filled with all of the new generation McDonald's pets. There's quite a few doubles and I honestly didn't even realize how many pets would be in this package. I'm kind of amazed. I don't know if they put extras in there or what. Um, but I'm so happy to get them and the fact that this isn't even like half of the McDonald's pets that were released I really hope that basic fun can bring McDonald's pets back because this was just uh, my childhood I'm gonna take a look at the new generation McDonald's pets first because there's less of them because most of them are doubles of each other And then we can get on to the exciting G2 McDonald's ones so most of these are modeled after pets from the show and please excuse me because I don't know a lot of their names. I know Zoe Trent and Penny Ling. Other than that, I don't really know their names. So um, I'll put them on screen. This is this little guy's name. I got four of him. You open your front door and these four guys are standing there. What do you do? Honestly, they're pretty decent for a McDonald's toy considering a lot of them are made of cardboard nowadays. It comes on a little skateboard that says Lil's Pet Shop. It has a wheel and the pet bobbles but only back and forth. I think these would be really great like FNAF custom bases. You can make a lot of cool animatronics because they are standing up straight. Next up we have this little guy. He's also from the show. Here is his name. I got two of him. Um, but he actually doesn't bobble. He has a little thing on the back of his head and you can move his eyes. This is actually pretty reminiscent of a G2 LPS bunny that had this feature. So it's kind of cool that they brought that back. I will say this poor guy looks like he's in a permanent anxiety attack though. Next up is this one. I only got one of this one and I don't know the character's name or even if it was a character. I don't think it was. Um, and I think it was from a different line of McDonald's toys as well because it has a different base and logo and stuff. This one has the bubble head. It's definitely more reminiscent of the G2 McDonald's pets in like how it's presented. 
but I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really not really feeling this one. He's a bit creepy. Again, because they're standing in a more human stance. Great FNAF customs, let me tell ya. I got two of this squirrel, which is from the series. And this one just has your regular bobble head. And then I got four of these monkeys. This is another character from the show, and this one also has a wheel on the bottom like the little skateboarding guy. Um, but the gimmick is like it's meant to spin as you push it along the floor. However, it doesn't really work that well because it has these plastic little bits sticking out that kind of stop the wheel from touching the ground fully. It's a bit of a design flaw, but I do have a really cool idea for this pet. Hear me out guys, okay? Ballora Custom. Okay, tell me, tell me you see the vision. Here's the pet, here's Ballora. Like, I feel like I could do it. All I'm saying is I got a lot of doubles of these G3 pets and FNAF Customs coming soon. Now that the G3 pets are out of the way, let's get on to the meat of this package and that is the G2 McDonald's pets as well as our two little mystery hard plastic LPS. I really don't know what to call them. There are some doubles in here as well, so let's get into it. Oh my god, you guys, they have the lamb that I used to have when I was a kid. This is so <laughs> amazing. I'm so happy right now. I loved this lamb when I was little because I didn't grow up with many LPS. I, I really didn't have a lot till I got older and had my own money. So getting these McDonald's little lambs was like the best thing ever. Oh my god. I always just loved how cute and pastel it looked. And if you've had these McDonald's pets, you know they've always had super bobbly heads. And I think these ones were the easiest to take apart because you pretty much just had to cut off this little white piece and then the pet just popped right off. I think this bunny is from the same series as the lamb because it has the same kind of base. I never had this one growing up but it's really cute and I ended up with three of them from this package. I think this design is really adorable and would make a great just regular G2 LPS pet. Inside was also these huskies. I actually already own this McDonald's pet. It's one of the few McDonald's pets I've gotten in recent times. So I'm definitely going to try and cut one of these guys off their bases seeing as I already have them. It's a really cute McDonald's pet and honestly one of the best adaptations in my opinion. Inside of these koalas, I think they're from the same series as the huskies because they come on a much smaller base. These two are identical but their eyes are just printed on very differently. Overall, it's a really cute pet though, and they also seem pretty easy to get off their stand. Inside was also this giraffe. His head's really up high, and I just think that's how this one is, from the ones I've seen online at least. He's always been like super bobbly looking. And there's also this cat. He's a bit beat up, and I don't really know what to classify this mold as, because it's not based off an actual LPS. Like, this sitting kind of pose doesn't exist in the G2 LBS world, so if you guys know what specific breed this is, please let me know in the comments down below, because I think it's really cute. Also, this monkey, which looks like one of the very first waves of McDonald's pets they did. It has a real old school look to it, and not as detailed as, say, some of the more recent quote-unquote G2 pets. And that's what I think this Persian cat is as well, one of those older pets. This one didn't come with everything included, but thankfully this one here did. It's kind of like a little keychain, but you can pop the inner circle out, which I think is really cool. It's like a little carry-along bed for your LPS. So if you had multiple of them, you could kind of switch them out and mix and match. It's based off the G2 Persian cat, but the body is slightly different in the McDonald's one. Speaking of Persian cats, this one here has the body that matches the G2 version. And I believe this is from the same series as the Boston Terrier I had growing up. I never had this Persian cat, but I always thought it was really cute. And I actually got a double of the Boston Terrier one day and was so upset because I really wanted to get the Persian. So it's super cool to have it now. I loved this series because it gave them like fancy little chairs and beds to sit on. As well as making the whole chair a keychain, it was just such a cool concept. I'm pretty sure this duck was from that same series as well, and I think I had this one growing up. It just looks really familiar to me. I love how they gave it a little built-in floaty as well. It's just such a cute little detail. And then the last definite McDonald's pet is this ladybug. This one's a little dirty, so I'll have to clean it up, and some of them in general are just a bit 
scuffed but again nothing a little disinfectant wipe can't fix but this one's pretty cute i don't remember having it so i'm happy to add it to my collection now those are all our mcdonald's lps now let's get on to these two interesting pets let's go back to my regular filming space and take a closer look welcome back to the green zone let's take a look at these pets so here they are, and at first glance you might not even think they're LPS, but they're actually the reason I bought this listing in the first place. It was actually really cheap, and even though I don't actively go out of my way to collect McDonald's LPS, I've been wanting to get some more, especially the ones from my childhood, but when I saw these two, I knew that I had to get the listing because I don't know what they are, but they're so cute. I know Hasbro's released ornaments in the past for Christmas and stuff like that, but these two don't have any Christmas decorations on them, so I'm really stumped on what their origin is. They both have the Hasbro licensing underneath, so they're official products. Both licensed around 2007 and seem to be in pretty decent condition. The first one is this pug, which definitely looks a lot more like an LPS than the cat. I believe it's specifically modeled after this pug here, which was one of the first LPS Hasbro ever made. I think it's meant to have a super bobbly head, but my one's a bit stiff, and I think that's just something that's come with age. Other than that, it seems to be in really good condition, and the pet overall is made of a pretty hard plastic. A really cute pet. It's almost like a super stylized version of a Littlest Pet Shop, almost more reminiscent of the old G2 art style that used to be on the packaging. But then we have this guy. I can't even find the words to express to describe this guy. He is such a goober. If I was to guess what this pet was based off, I would imagine it would be the sitting cat mold, but I don't even know if they existed when this one was released. It has some really buggy eyes and a super bright red nose. The design choices in general are just a bit interesting on this one. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love him because he looks so ridiculous, but I wouldn't guess that this was an LPS product just from the first view. I do like the white stripes on him though, that is a nice touch. This one has a much more bobbly head though, so he's not suffering from the uh, stiff neck disease this one is. Now like I said, I have absolutely no idea what these pets are, um, they could be ornaments, they could be like little decorative display pets, I really don't know. Um, either way, I'm happy to have them to my collection because I just love getting LPS related merchandise, even if they're not your typical G2 pets. These guys could be as common as dirt or as rare as the licensing show turtle and it wouldn't really matter to me. I just love them because I think they're cute and goofy looking and I love getting old Hasbro LPS products. There was so much stuff they released and it's just cool to see all the different kind of genres of pets they expanded to back when they were in their heyday. Oh, if anyone has any information about these two, please let me know in the comments down below and please let me know if there's any more in this series. I don't know if they just released these two or if there was a whole line of them. Tag your friends, point them over to my video and uh, help me out because <laughs> I really don't know where these pets are from and I'd love to find out. After taking a look at these two goofballs, that concludes today's package. I'm super happy with everything I got and I have so many ideas for these pets. Not only only did I get some of the pets that I had when I was a kid back again, which I absolutely love, but I also got a bunch of doubles to make some cool customs and kind of experiment with cutting some of the pets off their bases, and I also got these two, which I love so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hopefully the autofocus wasn't too bad in this video. I did try my best to record in the best lighting I possibly could. It is super hot in Australia right now because of course we are going into summer so I am sweating so bad right now behind the camera. TMI but I'm swimming in a hell of a puddle right now that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed like always please don't forget to like, comment and of course subscribe and feel free to help me out in figuring out what these pets I got today were. I will see you all soon with a new video. Bye guys!